Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial and it is a one brand makeup tutorial. I've seen a bunch of these kind of videos on YouTube recently and I thought I should do one. I've actually been requested a lot to use some of my e.l.f. baked eyeshadows in a tutorial. So I thought, let me just take it an extra step and use all e.l.f. products. So this is a one brand tutorial using e.l.f. You can find e.l.f. at eyeslipsface.com or at Target. They're a super affordable brand. Everything is like under $6. Um, mostly everything is under six dollars. All the stuff that I'm using is the studio line. It is my favorite line from e.l.f. So everything is around three bucks. And the only thing unfortunately that isn't e.l.f. in this video is my mascara because I don't own an e.l.f. mascara or my under eye concealer. Um, I've tried some concealer from e.l.f. and I'm not gonna lie they're not my favorite. So I didn't want to use anything that I didn't like in this video. Everything that I used in this video, all the e.l.f. products I used, I actually really do like. Except the eyeliner. I'm actually not a fan of this eyeliner, which I'll explain in the video. Um, but yeah, I'm a fan of everything else that I use. I don't have an e.l.f. mascara. I've actually never tried e.l.f. mascaras before. So I'm sorry that two things are not e.l.f. But every single thing besides those things are e.l.f. This isn't a super fall makeup. This is a little bit more like springy or summery like with this nude lip. Um, but I really like the eye makeup. I think it is like romantic and sultry. I think it's really pretty and I hope you guys like it. So if you want to see this one brand tutorial using all e.l.f. products, then just keep watching. Okay, so this tutorial is going to start off a little bit different. I am going to actually do my eyebrows using the e.l.f. eyebrow kit in light. Um, this is actually pretty dark as you can see. Like It, it gives me a bold 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 brow. So I'm taking the wax on this brush. This is my um, Holy Grail eyebrow brush. I got this at Michael's for like two dollars and I'm just gonna run the wax through my hair just tracing out my natural hairs or my natural brow shape. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take the powder in this duo and I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing and just outline it and covering the wax with the powder. It, it got bold. It got bold. <laughs> Moving on to primer. I'm going to prime my lids using the e.l.f. eyelid primer. Obviously, the e.l.f. primer. This is just the essential one in the shade Sheer. They have like a couple different colors. This is just the colorless one. Once you blend it in, the color goes away. I actually like this primer. It's pretty good. Then I'm going to take this contouring um, blush and bronzing powder. This is in Fiji. It's their new matte duo and I'm going to take the bronzer in the duo and on a fluffy brush I'm just going to buff this into my crease. This is just going to act as my transition shade. That's the best thing about makeup. There are no rules. You can use blush as eyeshadow, bronzer as eyeshadow. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to go back and forth and build this color up into my crease. So the eyeshadows I'm going to be using in this tutorial are the e.l.f. baked eyeshadows. They are my favorite eyeshadows from e.l.f. because they're just so beautiful. Um, they look really nice when you wet them, but some of them look nice dry as well. Um, I'm going to use this one called Toasted, and I'm going to spray it with Fix Plus. If you don't have Fix Plus, don't worry. Use eye drops or the e.l.f. lock and seal. That works too. And I'm just going to pack this onto my eyelid. I'm going to go back and forth um, into that eyeshadow just to build up the color. I'm using the e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush to apply it. This color actually doesn't take a lot of building. It builds up pretty quickly, but I just wanted it to be super, super intense. Next, I'm gonna take this e.l.f. crease brush and I'm just gonna blend this into my crease just to blend away any of the harsh lines. 
I'm gonna take this one right here. This is called Chocolate Dreams. It's one of my favorites. It's this really deep, beautiful chocolatey color. And this is one of the ones that you don't need to wet to get a lot of pigment from. Some of them definitely need water. Um, baked eyeshadows are meant to be wet anyway. Some of them definitely need to be wet, but this one isn't one of them. I just decided to add this to add a little bit of sultriness to the eye look. I was just gonna leave Toasted by itself, but I wanted a little bit of depth and dimension on the outer view of my eye. And then I'm dragging it into my crease to blend everything. Next, I'm moving on to the highlight for my brow bone and my inner corner. I'm using the e.l.f. Baked Highlighter in Moonlight Pearls. This is a really beautiful, golden, white, amazing highlight. I really love these. They're really good. I'm going to move on to the rest of my face before I finish my eyes, and I'm actually going to be blending these two things together. Um, this is the Acne Fighting Foundation and the BB Cream. The Acne Fighting Foundation is a little bit um, like too matte for me, a little bit drying, especially during this time of year. And the BB Cream is a little bit, uh, not greasy, but it's very, very hydrating. So I feel like combining them gives the perfect finish. They are not my exact color, um, but I can make it work. This is just a Coastal Sense brush. I don't know what the name of it is because it doesn't have a name on it. Oh god, look how big my forehead is. Somebody actually pointed that out in a comment. They said that my forehead, forehead, no, my forehead was annoying. Anyway, so I'm sorry I don't have an e.l.f. concealer. I just personally haven't found any that I like. I do not like the e.l.f. concealers at all, but that's just my opinion. Um, so I'm just using this Maybelline Dream Lumi one because it's the first one I saw. It was literally right in front of me, so I just popped it on. It's not the best for covering dark circles, but whatever. I am blending this in with my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. I love this brush. Now to set underneath my eyes, I am going to take this under eye setting powder. It's one of those HD powders. I wasn't a fan of this when I first got it, but it actually does set your under eyes pretty nicely. I have never been a fan of any sort of HD powder, no matter what brand, because it does give kind of a white flashback in photography. But for underneath the eyes, I think it does work and it does look really nice. This has glitter in it, but it doesn't come off on your face. I'm going to finish up my eyes. I'm using this eyeliner in copper and I'm just going to run this on my um, lash line with a little angled brush from Coastal Scents. I'm going to put this in my waterline and my lash line as well. This is a really nice chocolatey color. And I'm also tight lining as well. This next product is the one that just wasn't my favorite. It's a little bit too goopy for me. I know a lot of people love it. This is only a dollar, so I mean, it's definitely worth it. It's only a buck. It works. But it's just kind of hard to work with in my opinion. I have other eyeliners that I feel work better and are easier to use. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do a wing and then add some mascara to my top lashes. After I've done that, I'm going to take this baked eyeshadow in the shade Bark. It's a little bit lighter than the Chocolate Dreams and I'm on a pencil brush, I'm just going to smudge that underneath my lashes. Then I'm going to take that matte bronzer again and smoke the under eye just a little bit more. This is just gonna help blend that baked eyeshadow and just make it look nice and smoky. Now I'm gonna bronze my face. I am using this baked bronzer in Los Cabos. Can you tell that the baked products from e.l.f. are my favorite? I love their baked products. They are really good and this bronzer is so pretty. And I'm using this on my e.l.f. complexion brush. I'm using this to kind of contour but bronze up my face as well. I sit here and I bronze my face for like an hour. I spend a lot of time bronzing my face. I also bronzed my forehead, but for some reason, it, I, I don't know if I deleted the clip by accident or what, but I didn't show it. So yeah, I'm just adding some bronze to my face, to my nose, to my neck, to my forehead, all that good stuff. I'm actually gonna be mixing two blushes. These are the mineral blushes in Cabo Cabana and Sweet Retreat. I just like how these two look together. One is a little bit more pinky and one is a little bit more coral and I don't know, I like how they both look together. I actually really, 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 really love these blushes, like on another level. They are so good. Moving on to highlight, I am using that same highlight I use underneath my brow bone. This is Moonlight Pearls and I am just popping this to the tops of my cheekbones, onto my nose and on my cupid's bow.
And then finishing off this look, I am going to take some lipstick. This is the moisturizing lipstick, and this is in the shade Party in the Buff. It's a very summery, springy kind of nude because it is a peachy nude, so it's not very season appropriate for this time of year, but I still really think that the color is nice. But yeah, that completes this look. I really hope you guys like this one brand tutorial using e.l.f. Let me know down below if you did. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!